I mean, let's get to the cut to the headline. Um, Suolihi, Joseph Suolihi. All the talk was around him, and there was a feeling that it would only end up in not living up to the hype. Um, you know, we've seen him a little bit in NRL and what he can do. Um, there was talk about him already guaranteed to be the best cross code convert of all time. I think Jason Robinson might have something to say about that for the moment, even after Saturday, but it couldn't have gone much better. And you've got a serious, serious athlete on your hands there. Oh man, he's an incredible talent. And I think the the biggest blessing for him is the fact that he started off playing rugby. Um, so he, he already had that, um, that I, I guess the, the groundworks of how, how to play the game before he went to rugby league. And then just, just having that little bit of exposure when he was a kid of, you know, of understanding the basics. I think it, it was almost, um, it it was almost, uh, probably the best thing for him to be able to go straight into a test match. Um, cause he's, you know, he's a big body, he's very athletic. And then, you know, just having, having the little, having an idea of the game because, you know, rugby league and rugby, you know, completely different games, whether people, um, <laughs> believe it or not. And, and it's not, it's not easy to sort of just come in and, and, um, you know, flip flop in between the two. So, but I think what made it easy for him, easier for him is the fact that he already had the groundwork in, in understanding the game. So, um, hats off to him, man. And, you know, I'm, obviously I'm, I'm hugely, um, happy for for him and the wallabies he's got he's, a great name as well he's got a good name <laughs> although we're not sure how to spell it um I, I always get the apostrophes wrong when i write it down um in terms of overlap with israel Folau, now they play in slightly different positions but six foot five long-limbed rangy offloading game obviously pace to burn as well i mean seemingly Ah, look who's just joined us. Um, sorry, I thought it was midday. I mean, I don't think now is midday. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> I thought. I thought um, if you thought now was midday, you would have been here on time then, by the sounds of things. I find apologies. <laughs> re- I find apologies really difficult because I'm generally pretty perfect. Sorry, Joe. I don't care about. <laughs> I don't right? care about the rest of them. I really don't care about the rest of them. But, um, so anyway, I'm here. Sorry, a pulse, a pulse. Sorry, I thought okay. it was midday. All good. Um, you interrupted a fantastic question as well. Um, Israel <laughs> who, Palau. Who asked it? Because that could just be a contradiction in terms. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much was. Um, Israel, but there is an overlap, right? I mean, you saw from the kickoff the ability he has to get to mm. a high ball. That was an asset. You probably, you know, won back four or five kickoffs through him alone. Yeah, um, something like that. And yeah, I mean, the parallels for me are, are already there in terms of rugby playing ability for sure. Yeah, man. I mean, as I said, he's he's an incredible athlete, um, and I think what thing that helps him the most. And I'm like, oh, I don't think Izzy had the same background in in rugby, yeah, as um as jo- Joey did. So, um, I think the transition for him might be will probably seem a little smoother than than it was for Izzy, but. I mean, at the same time, Izzy was just like a like for me. He's he and um, Jason Robinson are probably one and one A in terms of like cross code athletes. Uh, yeah, 